Today we're going to go start to finish on these 12.LAS LiDAR point cloud datasets, creating a raster digital elevation model and canopy height model. I'm going to use the tool Create LAS Dataset. I'm going to browse for the folder that contains the 12 LAS data files. Select and add. Confirm the export location is where we want it and provide a coordinate system. For us, that's NAD 1983 UTM Zone 19 North. OK. If we check this on, we can observe. Looks like some overlap of two flights here and just a single flight here. Using the LAS Dataset Toolbar, accessible by right-clicking in the Toolbar area, LAS Dataset, we can view this data layer in 3D. And we can see the row of trees, the armory, the bank of the Fish River, ground, everything. If we apply a filter to show ground only, which is what we use for the elevation model, and again view in 3D, you can see now only the ground returns, no more trees, no more building. Now I'm going to search for the tool LAS dataset to raster. And this is going to take this filtered LAS dataset and create a raster from it. Input LAS dataset, output location, size 2 meters. That's going to create a 2 meter resolution raster digital elevation model. Which, if we zoom out, turn off our air photo. We can see there's the ski hill, there's the Fish River. If we change this to an elevation data set, there you go. Let's show a hill shade based off that. Go with a multi-directional hill shade. Z factor of 2, and there's the hill shade. Everything looks right and good. So let's uncheck those, go back to our point cloud. When you're zoomed out, it will look like this. And go back to our air photo, and zoom back in on the canvas. Now I'm going to change this filter create the canopy height model, I will change the filter from ground to first return. That will include some ground points and the tops of trees. View in 3D. That's what it looks like. The laser returns did penetrate down through these canopies to get some ground return points, but those first returns are all up on the top. So we're ready to move on with this data set. Close out of there. Same tool as we just used, LAS data set to raster. Same input data with a different filter applied. And rather than average, I'm going to go for the maximum. And that is going to ask for the maximum elevation value for a first return within that two meter raster cell. Okay. So now let's turn off our point cloud and turn on what is our digital surface model. I'm going to rename that DSM for digital surface model. I'm going to rename this DEM digital elevation model. And the canopy height model is going to be the DSM minus the DEM. Because the DSM is the surface that includes the height of the tree and the elevation of the land together. By subtracting the elevation of the land, you're left with the tree heights. Search for tools, raster, minus. DSM minus DEM, CHM. Check that on. There is our canopy height model at 2 meter resolution. 
Now you see we have some negative values, and that will occur where there's usually some interpolation error, where there's no ground return in a particular location, and it had to calculate an elevation model where there was no data. So let's go ahead and clean that up, and we're going to use the raster calculator to do that. Raster calculator. We are going to type con for where the condition can't be height model less than zero, make those values zero. Otherwise, return the same value for CHM. So it's just going to take anything less than zero, make it zero, and we're going to call that CHM clean. So now you have a new CHM, same maximum, but now those negative values have been returned to zero.